Hello, welcome to Words with Model Railway. My name is Mike, and today is a monument occasion. Uh, we've now got the track fully laid on phase one of the baseboard, which means we can actually run locomotives for the very first time. And I thought, given that it's Words with Model Railway, what better way to start than to have the BR7MT William Wordsworth hauling the South Yorkshire Pullman. I'll try and keep it in focus as we go around. I mean okay it's still basic baseboards but we've got locomotives running. And this will be the only way we can run a loop uh, on phase one until we actually get the two main lines running down phase two which run down either side of the loft. In the meantime I'll switch back across onto the main lines and then we'll be able to have four locomotives at Wordsworth Grand Station. So I'm really happy today to get up and running with locomotives. Let's get this one back into the station and we'll get the A4 Sir Charles Newton running in the opposite direction. I mean the points are laid roughly where they're going to be as they come in to the engine sheds. At this point we'll go straight on to the good shed but at the moment we're going back onto the main line. It's hard controlling the train and the camcorder all in one go ok we'll rest that hair there I'll just have to switch off the camcorder for now so I can switch a couple of points because there's no points wired up to any point motors just yet and let's get Sir Charles Newton running ok and we pick up the A4 this side of the, uh, the layout I mean, there is many, many years of work just on this phase one. Phase two will take me down the left and right hand side of the loft. And then phase three, I'll see a baseboard built at the opposite end of the loft. where the two tracks will come round and come back up. I've got something special planned for down there as well but uh, given that it's going to be a couple of years down the line and things always do alter with layouts 
I won't say too much about that but it is it's so satisfying to get up and running again I've really missed running trains I mean the layouts operating with minimum droppers as can be seen there's uh, three pairs there to go in and then all down this side there's no droppers at all down this side of the layout so the tracks just operating on continuity through the points that are installed and if you actually switch some of the points it will stop I've had to salvage uh, these Hornby points from the old layout just so I could save £160 but all the Pico points are performing really really well and I do like these smaller plastic insole frog compared to the Hornby So there we go, let's bring it into the station and we'll bring this one to a halt and then I'll show you something else which I've got running better on this layout than what it did on the old layout. I mean, it's nice to actually get five carriages into the station here at Wordsworth now compared to the three that I used to be able to get in so that's really nice okay I'll just uh, switch off again and get you around to the next piece I want to show in action okay so what we've now got is old lumpy what I call it this is the Hornby class 08 never ran that good on on the old uh, layout but uh, she's performing uh, she's performing well on this one at the moment um, still not a patch on the Backman class 08 which uh, is still my favorite oops see what I mean And then obviously that will take uh, coal wagons up to the coal stage and then we've got a coal drop where the coal man can come collect all his double cobbles and singles to deliver to the households. And then we'll bring her back down. bring it to rest there so that's Wordsworth Model Railway at present not so much bare baseboard now but most of the tracks laid all I have to do now I'll pan you around this is where the double and triple engine sheds will be going they'll be fed from these points which will take us back round 
and then I'm just testing to see where the point drops this is for the goods yard which will come round I mean the track's not in yet but they'll run down this side there's a little point here which will uh, give me somewhere to stable the 08 once it's shunted the wagons you can see the main goods line there so the locomotive will drop them off on that track and then there's the other line which will have the good shed and then the shunt will come off its side and pick up the wagons and bring them into the good shed to leave that loop free so if need be I can run some trains round on the inner loop without taking it into the station the bonded warehouse has just been moved for now I've got to extend the first track because that's where the cattle dock's going to be I've got great expectations with this layout and during the testing using the locos that I've now got running I'm quite happy with the movement and the switching from track to track I mean the two main lines shoot off down here can't take it any further just yet I've got some cork to lay there and then the two main lines will shoot off down that side of the loft be a nice double row road engine shed off the turntable there and there'll be a double road engine shed this side everything else that's bare on this layout has been now left for scenery such as houses fields few roads even this baseboard I'll get some houses and roads running through it and I'll bring round to even more scenery well I hope you enjoyed your visit today my name's Mike this is Wordsworth Model Railway and I hope you'll join me again soon.